and welcome to Diverse Kinds of Intelligences and Learning Styles. Here's where we're going. What are the different kinds of learning styles and how can I identify the different types of learning styles that audience members may have? The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. This famous quote is from Marcus Aurelius, Roman Emperor. Before we discuss the diverse kinds of learning styles, it's important to acknowledge this controversy. While some psychologists argue that these are actually aptitudes rather than multiple forms of intelligence, it is clear that changing methods of delivery based on learning styles is more effective than using a sole learning style. When you structure your presentation with your listener in mind, think of yourself as a roller coaster builder. Do you want several peaks and valleys made up of different learning styles, or do you want to use just one learning style? The most fun roller coasters have variety, just like your presentation. The first learning style we're going to discuss is linguistic. Linguistic examples include language, reading, verbal expression, speaking, writing, memorizing words, for example, names, places, and dates, and strategies that you might use to reach these listeners include reading, oral presentations like debates, reports, or storytelling. Since much of our educational system is based on the assimilation of new vocabularies, linguistic learners tend to have a natural advantage in our system. The next learning style we're going to discuss is that of the logical or mathematical. These are fractals. These are naturally occurring patterns in nature. The logical mathematical learning style uses numbers, perceives relationships, excels at all sorts of different kinds of reasoning, including sequential, deductive, inductive, and of course is great at computation. Ways we might reach this kind of listener include problem solving, using graphic organizers, categorizing, classifying, and inviting them to work with patterns and relationships. Nature is full of patterns and relationships. The next learning style we're going to discuss is spatial. If you're great at reading maps, chances are you might be a spatial learner. Examples of spatial learners include those that can think in three dimensions, can easily create mental imagery, recognize and use design in their everyday lives through color, form, and of course the interactions of line within space. Strategies to reach this kind of listener include the use of maps, charts, graphic organizers, the invitation to paint or draw, the use of visual aids, and of course working with pictures or colors. The next kind of learner is kinesthetic. It's someone who can use their body more effectively than others. These kinds of learners have excellent sense of timing and balance. They'll excel at things like athletics and dance. They are great at work that takes physical skill. Ways you might reach this population include the use of drama, role playing, touching and manipulating objects, and of course, using demonstrations. Remember that kinesthetic learners excel when they're using their body. The next kind of learner is that of the interpersonal learner. As social beings, interpersonal learners excel when in groups. Examples of social learners are those that enjoy organizing, leading others, communicating, collaboration, negotiating, and mediating. Strategies to reach this kind of learner include group projects, interaction, debates and discussions, cooperative learning, and sharing of ideas. 
Our final learning style is intrapersonal. Henry David Thoreau's classic Walden, Life in the Woods, depicts the ideal intrapersonal learner. They excel at reflection and introspection. They're great at thinking strategies. They enjoy focusing and concentrating. Ways you can reach this kind of learner include individual projects, self-paced instruction, note-taking, and of course, inviting them to reflect and use those skills that they're great at. So to summarize, any presentation can be more effective by appealing to multiple learning styles. Consider how you will build your roller coaster using these six important learning styles.